DVDs and Blu-ray discs, one of the best ways to view your movies and TV shows if you don't have access to the internet. You can take them with you and watch them wherever you want, whenever you want, and it won't be taken down off of Netflix. Sure, they may have some flaws, you need to be extremely careful not to damage or scratch the bottom of the discs to avoid skipping in the DVD, but of course, if you're a huge movie, TV show, or just a DVD collector like me, you want your DVDs to have proper cases, like say you have a 3 or 4 movie collection that has 3 or 4 separate discs, and the case should look like this, not like... What the fu- Let me start at the beginning. When you get one movie on DVD, what's the first thing you see when you open it? The disc. Nothing else. Maybe you'll see a piece of paper on the side with the scene selections or a digital copy code or coupons or whatever that comes with it. But that's it. Just one disc. Unless it has special features then it may come with one disc or possibly another. But it's just simple. Just one disc for one movie. Unless it's something like the 2005 King Kong or Schindler's List, then it requires two separate DVDs for the full movie because it, they're three hours long. Now, double features. These are good. It's perfect for any duology, like any movies that have only two movies, whether they are double features that are two completely different movies or movies that come with its own sequel, like Wayne's World 1 and 2, Homeward Bound 1 and 2, Ace Ventura 1 and 2, Bill and Ted 1 and 2, or even... I'll just take the first one. Sometimes movies will either have their own separate disc or two discs in total. Or sometimes movies could be on the same disc. Just no bonus features. Or rarely does a disc that has both movies is a double-sided disc. Now speaking of which, double-sided discs. They're okay, but they can really suck. For example, if you have one movie and the disc looks like this, then one side may be full screen and the other may be widescreen. Now, you need to be careful with both sides, mainly because you don't want to damage or scratch the sides, just in case you want to watch one side or the other side. And sometimes with the movie that has two parts on one side, you might wonder, wait, how do I watch the other part? And if you're like an idiot like me and have no idea how to go to the other side and don't know anything about DVDs until now, well, if you have a magnifying glass to see it, you might see something that might say side B or part 2 on the other side. Or something like that. Like, thanks for making it obvious, how would you know that? And sometimes, some discs don't even bother labeling which is which. Like for example, this From Dusk Till Dawn DVD right here. You assume that the first disc has the movie, right? Nope, it's the special feature about making the movie, and the second disc is the movie. How misleading is that? They don't even bother with labeling which is which. Well, look at Pulp Fiction's DVD. It labels the second disc as bonus material, so you can just tell that the first disc is the movie. And with movies that have a second disc for special features, one regular case can hold up to six discs and is perfectly fine with, with storing two normal discs. But for some reason, we also get obnoxiously large cases that hold up to just two discs. Jeez. Now, triple features. Triple feature sets are a treat. The same goes with four movie collections as well. They either have two movies on one disc and they are four movies in total, or just three discs for four movies, or just three discs for three separate movies. And other times they can be just... Good lord. I absolutely hate these. I've had way too many of these stacking cases. These things should just only be for CDs, not DVDs. This is pretty much a market's lazy way of storing three or four or possibly more discs on one DVD case, and I just hate it. It's because it's lazy and easy for them. For example, say you want a certain disc that's in the middle or at the bottom of all the other discs. You have to take one disc out each time and set them somewhere carefully so they don't, so they don't get scratched, unless they were already scratched up against the other discs when it was packaged. These stacking storage DVD cases suck. I absolutely hate these and they are pointless. With every one of these cases that I get, I just replace them with the normal flippy holders that are more tolerable for storing these DVD discs. With other DVD cases, they can either be thin cases or even thin cases that can hold up to two discs. With steelbooks, they have every reason to have stacked discs because they are thin. And big for one thing. There are other types of alternatives of five or six discs. Uh, for five, they may have something like this or one regular DVD case can hold up to six discs. Sometimes other releases make it bigger. Meanwhile, in Canada, they... 
what the hell. But other times, in order to, for some collections to keep some storage, or at least what they may think, they give them their own case, but it's a thin case and it works. I guess it's not bad, but of course one regular case can hold up to six discs or less, and gives more storage than three or four thin cases, but oh well. Now for TV series, that's a whole different story. They'll be either in large box sets with thin cases, or box sets with multiple discs, or in these dumb paper disc holders. Or in a more creative way like this Adventure Time Complete Series DVD, or like this Stranger Things set. But anyway, my whole point is that these stacking DVD cases should just be banned. They are dumb, lazy, and just stupid. I do not want to constantly take them out and take all the other discs out without trying to risk them being scratched. There are many ways to change and keep your discs just the way you want. But overall, that's just my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed my rant. If you agree with these things or have anything else to compare, let me know. Oh, by the way, I'm such a hypocrite. I forgot that the only stacking DVD case I keep without thinking twice about is my original X-Men movie trilogy. Mainly because the first X-Men movie's disc looks like this, and it just looks so cool. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, go home.